How you doing YouTube? This is Dynastic Karibo 7727. I um wanted to make a video where I talked about YCS Seattle and my predictions and the current meta of this format, you know, how it's changed since Abyss Rising came out. And um basically I'm just gonna cover I'm gonna do a short review of everything because I don't know, I think that this YCS is gonna be really intense. It sucks it's all the way in Seattle, I would love to gone, but that's a little too far for me because I'm only going to drive. Um, and I, I do wish luck to a lot of people who's going. Um, a lot of Texas players are going. Uh, you got, you know, Billy, Sam, and Scott. And then you got uh, Michael Claysell. I'm trying to think who else from Texas is going that I know. Um, you know, you got I got people here selling vendors that's going there. But besides that, off the top of my head, I can't really think of who else is going to uh, – Seattle, that's from Texas. You know, sorry if I forgot anybody. So good luck to those players. Uh, I know Jeff Jones is going. I'm a big Jeff Jones fan, so good luck to Jeff Jones or whatever he decides to run. And, um, you know, basically I wanted to say like what I think will do good and what I think will not do good. Uh, it's not very hard to figure out. I kinda, I got a list over here of um, just some of the notes that I was taking. Um, people say that wind-ups... I guess we could start off with the best decks of the format, or the most aggressive decks, which is um, Chaos Dragons, Windups, Agents, any Gear Gear, Curry Curry, my, uh, Gadget Build. Um, I guess starting off out the door, I guess say I, I say those decks are pretty good. I think that Gear Gears are beginning to fall off of the map, um, but you know I could be wrong. This could be the perfect time to run them. <laughs> so you know you never know, but you know Windups are so aggressive and. Agents and Chaos Dragons are so aggressive. A lot of players like those decks. Uh, I can almost promise you, I'm willing to make a bet right now that Windups will not win Seattle. Just because of that's what everybody's like prepared for and expecting. And Maxis are literally crawling all over the place now. And on, on top of that, I, I just don't see it winning. I don't know how it, it would win. It'd have to run like Call of the Haunted or some type of crazy tech to keep it in competition. Because if they rely on that first turn Shockmaster play, then they're not going to be able to win the whole tournament doing that. Um, I guess the uh, next I can talk about is uh, some of the Tier 2 decks that are kind of non-existent and some of the new decks. Um, of course, Elenia Mermails is not Tier 2. Elenia Mermails is definitely on the scene. and uh, I got my little Japanese one here. But... Um, you know, Lady and Mermails, we have to see how that's going to play out. I know people have a lot of different builds. Some people aren't running MST. Some are running Undyne. Some are, are only running a couple of Divas. And some have the Birdman OTK. You know, it just depends on what kind of build you run. Uh, how your Atlantia deck's going to do. I'm not really um, sure how, how good it will do. I'm sure that at least, I could say three of them will top 32, if not more, but... I'm pretty sure it'll do decent. It'll do better than uh, a lot of other decks. Um, then you have uh, the tier two decks. I think are non-existent right now. There's uh, Heroes, Dark World. I, I know Rabbit's still out there, but I consider it somewhat non-existent. And Six Hams. And we all know how nutty Six Samurai can open. And you know we all know how nutty Six Samurai and Rabbit can open, especially Rabbit Tour Guide. So those decks can defend themselves on their own. Heroes, as we all know, is kind of an outdated deck right now. Some people might even run it just for the surprise factor or the fact that they're running heroes. But um, I don't see how the deck could survive so many rounds of competition in this tournament. And the same thing goes for Dark Worlds, the inconsistency issues. We everybody knows about that. And then I I don't I don't know like if the decks have what it takes to make it all the way. You know, people should be citing people are already citing D fish and macros for. Atlanteans and Mermails and stuff, so, you know, I don't see, I don't know what Dark Wars would do to get out of that. And the last two things I want to talk about is the Abyss Rising decks. Um, you have Spellbooks and you have Medolces. Um, some people have really come to like Medolces recently because of uh, the Ticket, which is basically a wind-up factory or a Black Rowan. And some of the other cards that came in the Medolce, like the, the Queen Tiramisu, that helps you with the OTK. Um, this deck is not really on the radar officially yet like some people know to watch out for but you know people are going to wait for some type of build to really just try to copy and that's going to be it yet to see then you have prophecy spellbooks this deck oh this deck's pretty straightforward um it's 
it's really good. You know, everybody knows why it's good. I don't need to go into detail, but I can easily see, you know, Spellbooks and Mermaid Atlanteans topping. They will at least top. I could, I, I'll even make that bet. Well, okay, I could guarantee you this will top, and I hope that this tops. I don't know why Prophecies wouldn't top. Uh, I can't tell you what will win, though. Um, then there's other decks I didn't even mention. I know I'm forgetting a lot of them. There's so many decks this format that you need to just have something for everything. You have Insectors. You, it just, it's too many things that, that to list. So, I'm looking forward to YCS Seattle. I definitely want to know anything original or any of the winners. I, I, I want to make the bet. Usually I say what I think will win or won't win. I can tell you wind-ups will not win. And I could see... I don't think I don't think Agents has won a YCS yet. Uh, I hate to be wrong. <laughs> but it'd be cool if Agents won or even Chaos Dragons. Especially... It's like, I know it's almost, I don't think that can win. But if Spellbooks was to win, I'd be amazing. Like maybe I'm just dreaming. Remember Atlanteans have a good shot of winning, um, considering what they side against the obvious Soul Drain, Macro, and D Fisher. So we'll just have to see how it plays out. I just want to make a video talking about YCS Seattle. Y'all leave a comment below, down here. Okay, I have a big finger. Down here. And let me know what y'all think will win and won't win and why. And, you know, what's non-existent and if I missed anything or anything like that. Y'all could uh, subscribe to me here and like the video. And that's basically it. This is uh, D-Nasty Kribo, 7727, signing out.